During their 2023 annual meeting, the Watchtower leaders made the following statement. We are not embarrassed about adjustments that are made, nor is an apology needed for not getting it exactly right previously. Notice instead of saying, mistakes, they said, adjustments. Instead of saying we got it, wrong, they said we got it, not exactly right. Should not men who are admittedly fallible be willing to apologize? Could it be that they are too proud? The Watchtower of June 1, 1954, page 325 reads, Many persons are proud but few will admit it. They will make the general admission that they make mistakes, knowing how conceited they would appear if they claimed infallibility. But to make them acknowledge a specific wrong is far more difficult. Another article reads, So, then, do we really need to apologize? Yes, we do. We owe it to ourselves and others to do so. An apology can help to ease the pain caused by imperfection, and it can heal strained relationships. Watchtower 1996, September 15, page 24. The definition of a hypocrite is a person who acts in contradiction to his, or her, stated beliefs, or feelings. I would say that the Watchtower leaders qualify. We need to follow a teacher who is perfect. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are toiling and loaded down, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am mild-tempered and lowly in heart, and you will find refreshment for yourselves. For my yoke is kindly, and my load is light. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, New World Translation Many Jehovah's Witnesses are loaded down with work and need the rest that Jesus offers. He claimed the title, Truth, long before Watchtower did. Jesus proved that he had conquered death, and he will save anyone who comes to him for salvation. No other requirements but true faith. He said, And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. John 6 verse 40, KJV Jesus said to the thief being crucified beside him, You will be with me. And faith was all the man had to give. We can be with Jesus also if we possess that kind of faith. There is a judgment day coming and if you're with Jesus, you won't be condemned. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Romans 8 verse 1